Welcome to this webinar where we're going to discuss what is model-based acquisition, what it means to you, what it looks like in the context of modern cyber physical systems, and how Dassault Systems has enabled it for government customers at the DoD and beyond. Now back in the Revolutionary War days, the numbers game of war was how many troops you had. In the last century, it's who had the most and biggest munitions. Well today, it's no longer about how much heat you're packing. It's about how quickly you can respond to the rapidly changing landscape. It's about intelligence. It's about cybersecurity. The numbers game today is all zeros and ones. Now I'm sure many of you are familiar with this message from Deputy Secretary of Defense, Dr. Hicks, this past February. The key word here is evolve. In this webinar, I'm gonna show you how the digital transformation requires us all to evolve our mindset and how Dassault Systems can help the Department of Defense increase lethality and achieve operational dominance by employing model-based acquisition with the power of the 3D Experience platform. Now, my name is Andrew Bonica, and I'm a senior technical executive for aerospace and defense here at Dassault Systems. I've spent the past 20 years in A&D, primarily in the field of deployable air traffic control systems, starting out in the Marine Corps, then as a DOD civilian at Naval Information Warfare Center, formerly SPAWAR, where I led digital transformation and brought model-based engineering tools and methodologies to our command to create the beginnings of the digital thread. That's why I'm so excited and honored to be here presenting to you today. That was a grassroots effort that I was pushing up from the bottom of the bureaucracy that we all know and love. Well, maybe love's a little strong of a word. Now, I was so passionate about spreading the benefits of a model-based enterprise to the entire DOD that I knew I had to get out from under all of that and find a way to get in front of a larger audience that truly gets it. I'm here because I want to affect positive change within the government that I've spent the majority of my life serving. Now, in case some of you aren't familiar with Dassault Systems, I just wanted to give you some brief insight into the size, breadth, and mission of our company. We are a science and technology company with a passion for innovation and have enjoyed a healthy revenue of over $5 billion last year. We have well over 20,000 employees worldwide in addition to 15,000 extremely competent partners who provide first-class service and support. We are the largest software vendor for the model-based enterprise with over 300,000 customers consisting of more than 29 million users. Now, the A&D industry would not be what it is today without Dassault Systems contribution. We have been the catalyst and enabler of the world's greatest industrial transformations. Every decade, we have helped organizations disrupt how products are designed and made and rethink their whole development and production methods. From pioneering 3D CAD tools in the early 80s to the first complete digital mock-up of a complete aircraft and its systems, to introducing 3D PLM over 20 years ago, we've always been a leader in digital transformation. Around 2010, we saw the need to move beyond PLM and in order to have the most complete, comprehensive, end-to-end -end traceability, we needed to have a model-based platform designed from the ground up to support a model-based enterprise. So we did just that and launched the 3D Experience platform in 2012. We've invested billions of dollars into growing the platform to the comprehensive, multi-domain environment it is today. And we're continuing to invest in it alongside our industry-leading partners. For years now, we keep hearing about digital this and model-based that, twins, transformation, systems engineering, enterprise acquisition, etc. But to achieve any of that requires a true paradigm shift in the way you think about, store, manage, and leverage your data. You can have all the data you want, but if you can't find it, validate that it's current and trustworthy, etc., it's pretty much useless. But as you add intelligence to the data, you begin to create information. And when you start to connect information, you build knowledge. And when you start to see patterns emerge, you gain insight. And when you can follow the path and understand how everything interacts, you demonstrate wisdom. This allows you to make actionable decisions in context of the entire system naturally. 
And as you mature the way you leverage data, you increase the value you bring to the warfighters in the field. You increase the speed at which you can deliver capabilities to them. You increase your agility to respond to emerging threats. And you increase the quality of the systems you produce. This falls in lockstep with many DOD digital engineering paradigms, such as the Army DE maturity model shown here. Now all of us want information to flow smoothly. We want efficiency. We want autonomy. And most importantly, we want actionable information to make intelligent decisions quickly. Our defense landscape is continually and rapidly evolving from increasing threats from adversaries to cybersecurity attacks and vulnerabilities to ever-changing policies required to keep up with inevitable technology changes. The goal of model-based acquisition is to improve acquisition success. We need to look at digital transformation beyond just engineering and systems development. The 3D Experience platform is an enabler of model-based acquisition. Throughout the entire acquisition lifecycle, from mission needs to design engineering through manufacturing and production to fielding and sustainment and all the way through end of life and disposition. The trinity of concepts required to employ model-based acquisition for a defense program are digital engineering and management, an agile software system, and a modular open systems approach. We have two papers written by our model-based transformation experts published on the Dassault Systems website that are great resources to supplement this webinar. They are Transforming the Acquisition Value Network, and a holistic approach for realizing model-based enterprises. And we've provided them in the handouts section of this webinar, along with a handy infographic. Now, as you know, a key pillar of the DOD digital engineering strategy is centered around an authoritative source of truth, which links together all the various models you would encounter. Dassault Systems Solutions not only support the creation of those models, but with all of those models being intrinsically linked inside the 3D Experience platform, the platform is your authoritative source of truth. Now I'm sure you're all familiar with this diagram of the defense acquisition lifecycle. Well, the digital model-based enterprise supports a model-based acquisition process. And the authoritative source of truth is how you ensure digital continuity throughout each phase of the acquisition lifecycle. I'm sure you've been hearing a lot about MOSA, a modular open systems approach. Some of the objectives of MOSA are to enable the system to adapt to evolving requirements and threats to maintain currency, enhance interoperability, and the ability to integrate new capabilities without redesign of the entire systems as well as mitigate the risks associated with reliance on a single source supply over the life of the system, including technology obsolescence and dependence on proprietary or vendor unique technology, among many other reasons. But first, we need to look at the mission. Mission engineering requires that you start with the desired outcome. What mission are we trying to accomplish? Mission engineering produces a context that fosters mission-forward innovation using the mission architecture. Mission engineering drives mission segregation for shaping the solution. A family of systems MOSA architecture with reconfigurable, severable components according to the mission validated key characteristics, elicited principles, and rules. And moving into the design phase, the MOSA design for item level aspects need to be able to enable the architecture design intent. Implementation produces the final basis for the physical realization, which is the final enablement of the mission. Family of systems architecture, item design, and implementation enablement of the mission operational concepts, including acquisition tenants. MOSA management across the acquisition lifecycle across the entire fleet and across acquisitions should help manage supplier diversity, foster competition and innovation in order to deliver on overmatch, increased rate of capability evolution, as well as affordability. Again, the 3D Experience platform is that authoritative source of truth backbone. 
not only bringing all of your data together, but giving you actionable data across the acquisition lifecycle to support informed, intelligent decision making. In other words, the 3D Experience platform is the digital thread. It is the only truly collaborative platform to support every phase of the model-based acquisition lifecycle. Whether you're in the analysis phase, TMRR phase, doing design work, defining requirements, doing variant analysis, or in-service support and operations, the 3D Experience platform is with you every step of the way. Now this is not a pipe dream, a projection, or a wish list. This is already in action as we speak. And while most organizations have been trying to figure out how to stitch together a digital thread and authoritative source of truth with a bunch of interfaces and translations, we've already built it and have been running it for the past decade. Now enough talking about this elusive 3D experience platform. Let me show you what it looks like and how it can help you achieve a truly model-based acquisition process for your next program. The context of this example is focused on an area near and dear to my heart, military aviation. But the same principles can be applied to any program. In fact, we have many of the top innovative companies around the world across our, all our 12 industries harnessing the power of the 3D Experience platform as we speak, using some of the same capabilities we're about to show you here today. Now, let's take a look at our eVTOL example and see how the 3D Experience platform provides the competitive edge the program needs. In the material solution analysis phase of this major defense acquisition program, the program office will select the most promising technology that will address the unmet needs. Now here, the program executive officer, or PEO, receives the initial capability document from the JSIDS process. As the team grows, everyone has access to a single, secure, real-time, authoritative source of truth, no matter where they're located. The various missions, seen here on the mission cards and documented in the ICD, will help guide every phase of the acquisition program. The PEO manages every aspect of the program, schedule, cost, risk, resources, and technology development, all from a dashboard on the 3D Experience platform. Right from the outset, the mission-driven stakeholder requirements are expressed as models and captured in the platform, and will feed the system requirements and the physical requirements, which guide all of the analyses of alternatives and associated technical measures of evaluation. On the 3D Experience platform, there is complete traceability between user requirements, the use cases, the concept definition, the high-level system requirements, and beyond. The 3D Experience platform reinvents the acquisition process by providing an integrated platform to model the complete life cycle of an asset, from concept to operations. The modeling of missions is the starting point. It provides an integrated framework to model every aspect of the mission through every phase of the program. Mission modeling is the first strand of a digital thread that runs unbroken through the life of the asset. Katia Magic, aka No Magic Cameo, provides state-of-the-art capabilities to model the mission with the model-based systems engineering methodology. This portfolio provides the best-in-class unified architecture framework implementation using the industry standard SysML language. This enables the basics of mission modeling and simulation, but operational and functional simulation are not enough to fully analyze the mission. To do so requires multi-physics and multi-scale simulation. As the mission is being analyzed, some concept of operations and missions are being identified. In parallel, multiple systems of systems and systems alternatives are also being considered. The multidiscipline and multi-scale trade-off analysis capabilities of the platform allow the team to explore millions of options and configurations to find the best winning concept and validate the system's requirements. This is essential to develop a consistent and sustainable family of systems and the related system of systems with a strong level of performance and interoperability. 
Now, as the team enters the technology maturation and risk reduction, or TMRR phase, the abstract conceptual systems architecture identified in the previous phase informs the development of the preliminary systems design for the three mission variants of the eVTOL. To enable the bidders on this program to benefit from all the modeling work done to date, the RFP is issued in the form of models for each of the mission variants, saving time for the program office and providing for a more robust RFP. As the three OEMs respond to the RFP with different proposed configurations, the program office evaluates each option against their assessment of the functionality, cost, schedule, and risk, always tying back to the requirements at all levels. The 3D Experience platform allows the program office to make their selection with confidence that they've made the best choice. And once the prime contractor is awarded the program, the program office refines the schedule and the digital thread that started at the very beginning extends unbroken into this phase of the project. Now let's take a closer look at how the 3D Experience platform was used in the TMRR phase. The 3D Virtual Twin is a language for all. The Virtual Twin experience helps all stakeholders to share ideas and resolve issues collaboratively. We are smoothly transitioning from a program office perspective to a prime contractor's perspective. The boundaries between the two organizations fade away to streamline the two-way collaboration. The end-to-end -end traceability of requirements throughout the system's lifecycle using the authoritative source of truth data on the platform ensures the contractors not only deliver the right system initially, but also ensures the program office has the complete data package to produce, maintain, operate, and improve the system indefinitely. The platform provides a consistent, continuous, traceable digital thread from requirements through design to manufacturing, reducing the risk, which is the whole point of this phase after all. As the system is conceived, it is critical to assess in real time how well the requirements have been met through complete requirement chain from mission to implementation. 3D Experience Platform also provides the capabilities to visualize, navigate, and flag a wide spectrum of systems engineering models, including those from third parties. The platform is open and provides a way to bring additional third party capabilities into the system. At any point in the design and implementation process, it's possible to reassess the system's ability to realize the missions. This real-time closed-loop feedback between the program office and its suppliers minimizes the risk of missing any of the mission objectives and requirements. Continuing the model-based approach, the OEM's engineers work on the detailed physical systems designs, creating a digital twin of the eVTOL. This digital twin is just a part of the virtual experience twin that will serve both the OEM and the program office through the rest of the program and into sustainment. The virtual experience twin encompasses the product twin, the production twin, and the operations and support twin to provide a complete virtual representation of all aspects of the life of the asset. The platform enables ongoing collaboration between members of the program team and between the OEM and their suppliers. All across the value chain, models and requirements are persevered and guide every decision. When it's time for the critical design review, the OEM saves time and money by delivering directly from the platform most of the required information. Again, no need to prepare an extensive static set of documents. This is what we meant earlier by the paradigm shift from data to wisdom, the evolution from document base to model-based. This enables a real-time review, always with the latest data, maintained on the platform and traceable throughout the program lifetime. It also allows both suppliers and stakeholders accountable for system design, development, and program execution. The design is final and the physical prototype passes the verification and validation process. The OEM's engineering team continues to refine the design based on the feedback and testing of the physical prototype. The functional configuration audit is conducted right on the platform, 
saving time and ensuring the latest information is used. After the production readiness review, the program is ready for low rate initial production. Let's see how this engineering and manufacturing development phase was conducted on the 3D Experience platform. The ability to deliver the right level of mission performance is not only about the design and engineering of the eVTOL, it's also about production and sustainment. The 3D Experience platform provides leading edge capabilities to model the manufacturing systems at any scale, from tools to supply chain, using industry proven model based systems engineering and 3D modeling techniques. We start with the view of the end to end supply chain to understand who supplies what to whom and at what capacity. 1D to 3D digital manufacturing simulations allow the prime contractor and the subcontractors to accurately model the manufacturing process from stock analysis to full production line analysis. This visibility across the ecosystem will allow them to anticipate problems, optimize scheduling, and dramatically shorten the time to production readiness review. The real-time virtual twin of the eVTOL is available in the production planning process, facilitating collaboration in context between the engineering and manufacturing teams. The same methodology can be used in the future if production is restarted, eliminating the need for reverse engineering. The single authoritative source of truth and the digital thread on the platform continue to inform the development of production planning, maintenance planning, and flight simulation training so that all these deliverables are based on the most recent design with explicit traceable links to their underlying requirements. Output from the low rate initial production is tested against the systems models and requirements. The platform enables ongoing collaboration across all the teams, both the OEM and the program office to address issues found in the initial production units. Now, as the program progresses and team members move on, the institutional knowledge is preserved on the platform. When full rate production begins, the program office and the OEM can track production and deployment on a global scale. As the first units are produced, they go into the next phase of operations and support while the OEM continues to deliver with quality against the program orders. Now let's take a look at production planning on the 3D Experience platform. Here we've modeled the full supply chain with real-time data from each supplier to understand the global fulfillment capacity. The system indicates a need to add suppliers for metal and materials. On the 3D Experience platform, the OEM's team can identify the best sourcing and production alternatives to address the anticipated shortfall. From the overall supply chain, we now take a look at the individual assembly operations. Here you see the production manager can easily evaluate the real-time performance of each station from his dashboard connected to the industrial Internet of Things. He can anticipate when scheduled maintenance may impact production and when a defect is detected in a unit coming through the assembly process he can assign a resource to address that production defect. Now, the virtual twin of the factory helps visualize the production sequencing and flow of materials on the shop floor and in the warehouse. From the receiving area, we proceed through the robotic assembly of the rotors, past the assembly area where more of the components come together, past the final assembly and onto the paint shop and quality inspection. From there, the eVTOLs will be transported to an off-site testing area. With this virtual twin, all aspects of production can be studied and optimized up front before the real-world plant is set up. The virtual twin of the product and its industrial system is also a valuable asset in developing training for the plant staff well in advance of their first shift. The virtual twin of the factory validated and verified with virtual commissioning increases the level of maturity and quality during the LRIP. With the final assembly machine down for corrective maintenance, the production manager must find a way to minimize disruption to the production schedule. With the 3D Experience platform, he can run manufacturing simulations to find the optimal workaround and reorder the lines so production rates are minimally impacted. 
Once in operation, the eVTOL is used in unexpected ways. The predictive algorithms on the platform trigger an intervention in the field. They foresee a problem with the opening mechanism for the forward rotor, a problem that may be likely to occur before the next scheduled maintenance. The nearest field depot can schedule the maintenance before the problem is realized in flight. Now let's see the 3D experience platform used in the operations and support phase. As the eVTOL system is now in operation, it's critical to optimize the fleet availability. And for these eVTOLs, that responsibility falls to the aircraft mechanics in the field. In our example, there's an issue with the opening mechanism of the forward rotor. The onboard sensor data and usage information for each eVTOL are collected and provide a rich cache of big data that can be mined to understand system performance and reliability. The use of data science with advanced artificial intelligence technologies on the 3D Experience platform can provide predictive analytics that dramatically improve fleet availability. The actual field usage data can be combined with the system virtual twin on the platform both the 3D models and the 2D logical and functional designs to put all the necessary information at the fingertips of the mechanics in the field. The full virtual twin built with this model-based acquisition process provides holistic impact analysis. It greatly simplifies the introduction of enhancements to further improve the quality and performance of the eVTOL over time. The end-to-end -end traceability of the digital thread across all engineering domains streamlines the execution of changes from systems design to production to maintenance and repair and overhaul of the eVTOL. Changes that will improve new units to come or retrofits to the existing fleet. The 3D Experience platform enables a complete digital thread, an authoritative source of truth, and a truly model-based life cycle for this eVTOL or any program asset for mission needs analysis to optimize fleet availability. We've seen how the 3D Experience platform provides the most comprehensive, integrated, and easy to maintain platform to run major acquisition programs. However, we must look beyond a simple digital twin. Instead, we need to leverage the complete virtual twin experience encompassing all aspects of the product across its entire life cycle. The mission and the operating environment and the experience of those who depend on the product carrying out its mission. While others are struggling to create a digital thread by patching and gluing together a bunch of disparate file-based legacy applications, the 3D Experience platform is the only digital thread that is rooted in a singular unified data model, a thread which can't be broken. The 3D Experience platform was built from the ground up to be fully interoperable, featuring the most powerful tools while still open to other components, saving you time, money, and keeping your tools on the cutting edge. As I mentioned earlier, the 3D Experience platform has been selected by the most innovative DoD programs and by the leading innovation companies who have their choice of any solution on the market. They've chosen the 3D Experience platform for its ability to afford them greater innovation, speed, agility, and cost reduction. My fellow troops deserve nothing less. We just saw how the 3D Experience platform is a fully model-based environment, driven by knowledge gained through collaboration across all domains, and is with you throughout every phase of the acquisition lifecycle. We saw how you can ensure true digital continuity by having a single unified product structure on the 3D Experience platform. When we talk about information flow in a model-based environment, it's important to make the distinction that data is not moving. It simply matures and evolves along with the program and system. By moving away from file-based and into a model-based environment, you don't have to worry about replication or synchronization of data. All objects are inherently linked across all domains. As we saw in the demonstration, it's not just about a single domain like MBSE or model-based definition or manufacturing, but the entire model-based enterprise working together under the same governance throughout all phases of the program lifecycle. 
A single digital twin is not enough for a complete end-to-end -end model based acquisition. In order to translate mission needs into an operational system, you need a model based platform designed to support multiple virtual twin experiences from as specified to as designed, as planned, as built, as maintained, and so on with a single unified object-oriented data model. However, the tools are only part of the equation. The most important part of any transformation is the organizational change. That requires a paradigm shift in the culture, how people think about the way they work and the assets they create. Digital files and folders were originally created to replicate how we used paper. Those concepts are outdated and holding us back. Models and metadata are how we leverage our data in the modern world in order to have actionable information to make intelligent decisions. The newer workforce is used to the literal world of information at their fingertips and expects instant access to information, not wasting time with file format translations. We need to mature our notion of simplistic textual requirements into model-based expression of requirements for increased quality and precision to truly satisfy the mission needs. To enable a truly model-based enterprise requires commitment from the top to the bottom on how to operate. And by digitizing core business processes, you make the individual processes slightly less flexible while enabling the whole organization to become more agile. Let's see what the path of transformation looks like in reality. The goal of your digital transformation is to achieve an envisioned future, aka an aspired future state. In order to be successful now and in the future, you must know your futurescape value topology. You can only render value judgments against an architecture once you know your values. While we can work towards a future intent, we must provide agility for the emergence of threats and opportunities. As the world evolves, so will your aspired future state. Having a platform that can evolve with you in the ever-changing landscape is critical to achieve success. I want to leave you with these key takeaways. Always be looking at the futurescape. Ensure you're measuring the effectiveness of your transformation. Be able to respond quickly to emerging and evolving threats. The battlefield has changed from bullets and bombs to bits and bytes. As such, having a platform that is constantly evolving in response to adversaries, continuous cybersecurity improvements, and changes to the acquisition process is essential. As we said in the Marine Corps, complacency kills. The troops cannot stand still, and neither can we or our technology. In order to be successful in defense acquisitions, these are the pillars in order to improve effectiveness and lethality. Digital overmatch, the capacity to innovate, putting the mission forward, exploiting the knowledge across the entire organization and all stakeholders, model-based knowledge capture, authoritative source of truth knowledge management, operationalizing the workforce by reducing platform diversity and increasing scalability, and having a product line with a competitive acquisition footing is what drives innovation. And when you enable the model-based acquisition with the backbone of a true digital thread, you're able to harmonize your product development with your business processes, and most importantly, your consumer in the field. This means adopting new business models and breaking down operational silos to improve agility, resulting in an autonomous, frictionless process that is truly connected to your warfighter's needs. Thank you for your time today. Head over to the chat to discuss answers to your questions.